Good morning, everyone. What is going on? It's Mini Truck back with another video for y'all today. And y'all check this out. So, I'll go ahead and start this off by saying I do not recommend trying to pull a load out of uh, uh, ConAgra or Ryder in uh, Venor, Tennessee. Um... If you're at USA, I don't know what it pops up at other companies. Uh, if you look it up on uh, USA's load board, it's going to pop up as uh, Knoxville Dry Mixing Center. But uh, I've been at this place since 5 p.m. yesterday. It is currently... Uh, let me find out real quick. Hold on. It is almost 4 a.m. It is almost 4 a.m. I've been here uh, since 5 p.m. yesterday. Had a 5 p.m. appointment. Uh, I got here, and there was a line of trucks um, waiting to check in, so I had to wait to check in, um, you know, just one truck at a time, you know, go up to the guard check and whatnot, so it took me about an hour to get through that, so it was about 6 p.m., then they say, well, my load's not going to be ready till about midnight. Now, I told them that was fine, not a big deal. Figured, all right, cool, I'll take a nap, do whatever, right? So... Taking that, um, I probably lay down about 7.30 roughly. And about 12.30, someone, the uh, yard switcher knocks on my door and says they're ready for me. And I go to my door, back in. This is one of the places where uh, you leave your doors closed. And they'll open them from the inside. So back up to the door. And uh, <clears throat> a few minutes later, I feel some movement uh, in my trailer. And then a few minutes later, I feel some movement again. But I still had the green light. And after that, I didn't didn't feel nothing. I never got a red light, nothing. So, about three hours goes by. That's probably about 30 minutes ago. Um, and I go back to the trailer and notice that the bay door is shut. So I pull forward thinking, okay, maybe they just, you know, loaded me real quick. And you know, cause sometimes they'll just slide it all in or sometimes they have like a little setup where they, you know, they slide it all in and it's real quick and you don't feel a lot of movement. Well, I pull forward. Sure enough, my door ain't sealed and I open my door up and there's nothing in my trailer. So I back up to the door and send dispatch another message. So I'm probably going to end up losing my next load because it's got to be there at... 5 p.m. today. I was going to say tomorrow, but now technically today. Um, about a seven hour drive. And it's getting to the point that I don't think I want to make it. Unless they get me loaded within like the next couple hours. And even if they do, I'm not going to make my next load. So that sucks. Uh, just because. Well, I'm going to be almost out of hours. I've been here long enough to do a 10-hour reset, so I'm sure I'm going to get a message about how I didn't do a post-trip. Well, I didn't plan on doing a <laughs> post-trip. Didn't plan on doing a 10-hour reset either. So, that sucks. Um, so, we're just chilling out, waiting. I'm about to lay down after I make this video. And uh, go to sleep for a few more hours. I almost think, I'm almost questioning if there's even anybody here. I'll show y'all real quick. So, sorry for the glare. Ah, shit. So, um, well, there's one truck here now. So, or it looks like they're leaving out. Maybe that's at the drop and hook. I don't know. Looks like there's people still at the guard shack. But, those two trucks right there, um, there's that black truck and there's a yellow one on the other side of it. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um... Between me and them, and then there's that truck right there. We, so there's four trucks in total, um, plus there's that one fixing to leave right there. Uh, we've all been in the door for hours. None of us have red lights. I haven't seen the yard switcher. I haven't seen any really any other trucks coming except for that one leaving right there. So... 
nor have I seen them. There's a little parking area in a gravel parking lot. I've not seen them bring up any other trucks as well, so. This sucks. <laughs> Does not look like it's going to be a good week for me. There's a little bit of glare there. Does not look like it's going to be a good week for me. Um, see, I'll check this out. I feel like I haven't even really had any time off. I got home late Friday. Um, I was supposed to drop off in Nashville. That was a mess. I originally had an open appointment time um, at this location. And they switched it and did not tell anybody. So I get there and they're like, oh, we can't unload you because you don't have an appointment. So I got with dispatch, got with my DM. He tried to get it taken care of. They said they were going to try to work me in about 2.30. I got there at about 11.30, almost 12. And about 2.30 rolls around. I wait and uh, they told me they can't get me unloaded. So apparently we have a drop yard in Nashville that we rent from TCW. Um, we rent, I guess, a couple spots from them, and, uh, had to drop it there, picked up the trailer I have now, which is a, uh, almost a brand new trailer. <clears throat> Headed home, had to go pick up my transmission, got there just before they closed to pick up my transmission for the C10. Um, let's see, Saturday, my, my buddy detailed the inside of the truck, got it all cleaned up for me, cleaned my windows, and floor and the seats and got it looking pretty good dash and all that too so uh and while he did that i tried to straighten up the uh the panels on the apu did pretty decent on that but it's still about the best i'm gonna get it unless i replace the panels um as well as i replaced the uh rear fender as well And then Monday, I was supposed to, well, no, not Monday, but Tuesday, I was supposed to leave out. Um, before I left out, I had to go to the bank. While I was at the bank, some um, some dude, who I guess, was pissed off and had some shit going on that had nothing to fucking do with me, uh, decided to throw his car in reverse and put his foot to the gas. Wasn't paying attention to the car that was parked behind him, which was mine, um, while I was inside the bank, and smashed into my car so my car which doesn't know it's just now has 50,000 miles on it needs a whole new bumper and, and fender and headlight and shit so it's all fucked that was nice so didn't get to leave out tuesday because of that mess still trying to deal with insurance um insurance said well we can't get a hold of his uh his in my insurance said we can't get a hold of his insurance or his uh um or him himself and we can't find a claim on his part. So as of right now, you're stuck paying the deductible. Oh, fucking nice. Told me that my estimate was like $1,003. So we'll write you a check for $3 once you pay the deductible. Well, that's a fucking slap in the face. Um, went and looked at a semi-truck. But it, uh, tried to talk the dude down on it. He didn't really want to come down much, so. Still debating on buying it, but I don't know. But we're just sitting here waiting. It's going to be, like I said, so I didn't get to leave it out until uh, till today. Went to go pick up this load. Um, and like I said, we're still here. So, and I, due to time, let me see here. Due to time, I just don't think. Like I said, I'm about seven and a half hours away. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to get loaded anytime soon. So, if I'm even lucky enough to make it to my appointment on time, I have to, uh, choose my appointment time is, what time is it? Yeah. I've got to be there and pick up this empty trailer by 6 p.m. So... But it's a drop trailer, so I, I might still keep this load. I don't know. We'll have to see. But it still sucks, of course. It always sucks when this happens. <laughs> so, well, I guess we're just going to make the best of it, take a nap or something. 
So, I'll talk about this too, though. I think when it came to USA and some of the stuff I was saying in my last couple of videos, I think I just got a little too upset. Don't get me wrong, this shit's still aggravating um, as far as, like, you know, what they're saying about fuel discounts. And um, there's still a lot of shit that they're telling us that really just don't add up, in my opinion. And, not well, other drivers, too. We just don't feel like some of the stuff they're telling us adds up. Um, which I think I just let it, you know, get me a little too aggravated. And it's kind of one of those things where it's kind of why I, like, try to stay away from the bullshit and, like, what everyone's talking about with the company. Because I didn't kind of get caught up in it. I found out the stupid shit and I let it get, it, get me aggravated. So, but overall... USA really ain't that bad. You know, I've got an awesome, awesome DM or, you know, what do you want to call him? Dispatcher, him or her. Dispatcher, advisor, um, DM, fleet manager, whatever you want to call them. They get called different things at different companies. This depends on who you work for. USA, it's a DM or an advisor. Mine is awesome. He is absolutely coolest one I've ever had. Does a great job. So... Honestly, he's probably one of the reasons I'm still here, you know. But as far as the other stuff, you know, safety ain't giving me too much of a problem. You can make your money here. It just feels like we're having to start, we're getting to the point where we're having to start to work a little bit harder for it. Um, but yeah, they're not that bad. This, uh, this shit aggravates me, though. Uh, what can you do? <laughs> so. But I'll probably stay here for a while. I mean. I guess it ain't, I guess some of the bullshit ain't that big of a deal. You just gotta figure it out yourself. You know. Fuel discounts and whatnot. If I can get better. You know. Better fuel discounts. That'll take away some of the pain. But it's still gonna be a short week. Oh god. Um. Like I said. It's technically Thursday now. I could have already, now, this is a Walmart load, I could have probably got it changed to a drop and hook, and done dropped and hooked to a new trailer, and parked for the night, so, this is kind of throwing me off, but, like I said, what can you do? Well, it's going to be about it, y'all, so we'll update, we'll check in what's been going on, um, it's kind of hanging out. I have to lay down, and um, I guess they'll wake me up when they're ready. When they're, <laughs> they can, you know, I've been here long enough. Um, you know, just how I've been in the door for three hours. So when they want to wake me up, they can wake me up. I ain't staying awake waiting them for them any longer. Especially, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get loaded anytime soon. So y'all watch out for this place again. That's um. If you look it up on the load board, or at least USA's load board, if you're from another carrier, I don't know what it'll pop up as. For USA, it comes up as... Let me make sure I'm getting it right here. Give you all the right information. This thing will be fast enough. Alright, there we go. It's going to come up as Knoxville Dry Mixing Center. 90 Deer Crossing, Venora, Tennessee. So... <clears throat> When you get here on the sign, it says Ryder um, Conagra. So, you know, if you're from an outside carrier, it might come up as Ryder or Conagra. Um, or it might come up as Knoxville Dry Mixing Center. Um, that's what pops up here. So that's where I'm at. Like I said, I got here 5.30 p.m. yesterday for my appointment. Waited just an hour alone just to check in. And... Let's see. Yes, yeah, so about between six six thirty parked, waited, um, sat there for a little over six hours. I think it was actually closer to seven hours. I sat there uh, waiting to for them to come get me, put me in a door. Now I'm in a door. Been here for over over three hours, and I have been off duty or in sleeper berth. 
four. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. I've done a ten hour reset. Get you all the right information here. Almost eleven hours. Ten hours and fifty one minutes. So. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go lay down and wait. So, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all watch it out if you come here. Just know it could be a long wait time. I've came here before and it not be this long. it will only be here like two, two and a half hours. So I don't know what's going on. But I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if y'all would, like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you got any questions. Uh, whoever keeps asking... Does USA do a hair follicle test? I think I've responded like three different times. No, no, they don't. Uh, you're going to keep asking. They're probably going to start doing them now. <laughs> but I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all would. Uh, like, said, like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm tired. I'm laying down. Y'all have a good night.